can ask, do you have to rest uh, during the practice when the new moon or full moon day? Um, so this is an interesting question. So in India, you would definitely rest on the full moon and the new moon. Um, the reason why is that those are very auspicious days in India, uh, as in many other countries. But the full moon is a day that most people go to the temples, you don't pray. And so the teacher also wants to go to the temple. And so he says, take the day off. Um, and so there's no classes. It's also a good idea to give the body that extra day's rest. If you're doing a consistent uh, six day a week practice, it's also good to give the body another day to rest. Um, it's especially good when the full moon or the new moon comes on a, a Saturday or a Sunday, whatever the day off is, because then you get two days off. So I used to love that when I was with the Tabi Joyce. We'd love to get the two days off. And our bodies need it. But if you look at it on a, somebody who's an athlete, athletes don't take full moon off and we don't take new moon off, they continue to practice. And uh, if we're looking at the physical side of a yoga practice, it's, it's really the same thing. And if we're not in India, um, I, I don't believe there's that much importance in it. It's just another day that apparently there are things that happen on the full moon, that there's more energy in the new moon, there's different funny energies. But it's not, I don't think it's a really big deal. Um, I still, especially when I was traveling, I still practice on a full moon because I would take other days off because I was flying or, or doing other things and couldn't practice. And so that was my thing. So for me, if you were in India, observe. If you really want to be traditional to the Ashtanga practice, you can also take it off. But that means you're practicing six days a week. So. You have to be doing the six day a week practice before you're allowed to take full moon and new moon off. And uh, really, it's up to how you feel. <laughs>